Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have good news for all of you who want to use the DJI Mini 4 Pro for doing photogrammetry. Until now DJI didn't update the MSDK for third-party app developers. For photogrammetry DJI Mini 4 Pro users had to leverage the waypoint feature. First create a map, for example with drone link, then manually redraw the map export the mission SSCs file, convert it into a KMZ file, and finally upload it to the controller. But two weeks ago, surprise, surprise, a new MSDK was released, which now supports the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So let's have a closer look at the announcement. Looking at DJI's developer website, you notice a new SDK for Android, and the interesting part is right at the beginning. Add supported aircraft, DJI Mini 4 Pro. So what does it mean? With this release of the MSDK, third-party applications like DroneLink and Litchi can now recreate the apps to directly control the Mini 4 Pro. If we scroll a little bit further down, you see more interesting information, DJI Mini 4 Pro, and you see the controller is the DJI RCN2. This is a controller why you have to use a smartphone. It is not the one with a built-in display. Now if you go to the DroneLink website, you see that Mini 4 Pro is already supported. Further information you find here is at the moment only the DJI RCN2 controller is supported as we've already seen from the DJI developer website and not supported at the moment are iOS devices and the DJI RC Pro and the DJI RC2. Those are the ones with the built-in display. And how does it look like if you create a new mission? Let's have a look. Here I'm already logged in into my drone link account. I started a little mapping and if we have a look at the details and especially the camera settings, we see that we now have the option to choose the Mini 4 Pro or even the Mini 4 Pro with a 48 megapixel. So we save this mission and if we now go out to the field, connect the controller with a smartphone and start up the drone link, we simply pick our mission and drone link will handle the whole flight path for us. Exactly following what we laid out over here, taking all necessary photos without any further work for you to do. Isn't that nice? Now going back to the DJI developer website, having a look at the supported consumer drones, you notice that only the minis are listed over here. If you want to do photogrammetry with the DJI R3 or R3S, unfortunately those are not supported yet. If you want to do photogrammetry with those drones, you have to stick with the manual approach as explained in the beginning. First, you create your new mission in drone link. Then you have to redraw the exact flight path in Litchi and export it as a CSV file. You then have to convert the CSV file to a KMZ file. Then create a new waypoint mission on the controller. Replace the new waypoint mission with a KMZ file we just converted using a computer. And finally, you will have the waypoint mission on your controller. If you want more details how this menu approach works, whether for drone link or for Litchi, please have a look at my channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.